Hello, welcome to my channel. So I thought I would try out this Dash and Diva nail guard. Um, so they're a sticker that you stick on your natural nail and you can either stick a, a form to it and decorate the form or you can actually build a nail off of it. An acrylic nail, a hard gel nail, a builder in a bottle nail. I've seen a lady on here called Absolute Nails. I will put a link to her channel below. Um, she uses them quite often. Um, it's got all the instructions on how to use it, so I thought, you know what, I'll give it a go. Now this packet, I bought two packets off of a seller in e off of eBay. Um, they cost me a little bit. Oh, well, they cost me quite a bit actually, to be honest with you. I was quite ignorant with the facts. I'm usually pretty good on these things, but I was quite ignorant with this fact. And I bought them from America. Um, all right, so I bought them. Oh, Glitter Planet, press on tips, love it. Bought them, look at it, look at that nail, that tip. And it's just there, it's already made. You just stick it on with whatever you want to stick it on with. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. So I bought these guards. The lady gave me some money back in PayPal. I was a bit confused why. It's because the postage didn't cost as much as I actually charged me. But then I had to pay duty on them when they came here. I was proper gutted and upset. So they cost me a lot more money than I thought. Here's my Navy Pro Ethel tool. I love my Ethel. She lives in her box because she cost me a lot of money and I'm going to look after her. So you just prep your natural nail like you would normally. Now if the rambling, if I ramble, it's because I'm trying to say lots of things at once. I don't know why. Excuse my cuticles on both my hands. I had to do some clearing up at work. Loads of dirt and dust and it got in my gloves and it really ate and irritated my skin. So my cute corn, both my hands are really rough. Right, so with the ethyl, you just pull up, push up whatever dead skin you've got. And then you just, all the little bits of cuticle that grow on your nail, you just peel it off. So some people probably say to me, oh, you're not meant to do it like that. I'm not a professional nail tech. I do have a license, but I don't do it on people. Um, I know what I'm doing to my skin but it doesn't mean I'll be doing it to others. So I'm doing it to me, not to anyone else, because I don't do nails on anyone else. And I also don't do my right hand. So this video is gonna be a proper laugh because it's gonna look like I've just picked up a brush and I've just started to do nails. Because it is absolutely awful. I mean, you look at my left hand, you think, lordy, lordy, that's good. You look at your right hand and think, oh my God, Mish, what have you done? So I pulled off my cute, cut off my cuticle, scraped it, cut it, um, buffed my nail, cleaned it with a bit of rubbing alcohol. So now, these stickers, you put it on your nail tip, try and line it up properly, bang in the middle, and then you just press it on, and now it's got a double side cover on it. So you peel off one side, stick it on, push it on, and then the other side just pops off. So you just make sure that it actually stays on your nail. It's actually on your nail. I think I might pick one that's a little bit big. Um, for this, I was trying to push it in. I forgot that the lady sent me a cuticle pusher, uh, a wood stick. I forgot she brought sent me that. I don't usually use wood sticks. I forgot I had it. So once you've got it, however you want it, you just pull it out, pull it to the tip of your nail, and then you file off the edge, and you just make sure that it sticks to your nail. And there you go. Voila, one lit clean nail. So now you get your nail tip. Now I pre pre fitted this, like measured it up and you make sure it fits just like you would do if you're sticking on a tip from sidewall to sidewall. I'm using my glitter belt, size 8 brush that I just bought. <clears throat> and what I do is um, I just get a tiny little bit of acrylic. You can use acrylic, hard gel, aqua gel, anything you want. And what you do is you just stick that to your finger. So because I'm right handed and I'm finding it a really difficult to do things like use trying to use my left hand so I push it down hold it into place and then I just get my brush and I just get rid of the extra acrylic that's squeezed out and that is it jobs are good and you've got your nail done and because I bought these already done from glitter planet these tips I ain't even got a shape or nothing I've just got to do what I want to do on it but I thought you know what as a try I will make it into a ballerina shape so look, there you see, stuck on, jobs are good, and thumbs gives, get the thumbs up. 
it's now trying to cut my tip. I've had to cut out loads of this video because it was like half an hour and you only get 15 minutes to so upload it from your phone. So what I do is, oh look, can you see my phone in the reflection of the lid? Sitting on two elastic bands. <laughs> so what I do is, oh, and that little white thing up there at the top with the button, that's my remote control for my camera. Um, I just file it and shape it and now I get a bit of natural beige from there now I had to think about that and my little mender bottle I love my mender bottle you know what that was a godsend there just I use a perfect amount of liquid every time so I just get a little tiny bit and now I'm trying to make a smile line and oh did I balls this right up I'll tell you something I've so got to just constantly practice on my right hand even if I just make these tips and pop them on when I want them on. I've got to practice doing my right hand because, oh my lord, my smile line was just awful. It was round, my nail was lumpy, bumpy. But, you know, I've, I've got a little bit of what I know what I'm doing. I've just tried to get my left hand to do what my right hand can do. So I just get another little bit because what you've got to do is when you do a smile line, you've got to make sure that when you build your tip wall, your, your nail bed wall, it's high enough for your tip colour to butt up against it. Because what you do is you make your nail bed and then what you do is you file it, once it's dried, you just file it into shape. Now I don't know if I left that in the video because I weren't sure, because like I say, it has cut loads out. So now what I'm doing is my cuticle bead. So put it on, yeah. And do you know what, I didn't realise I don't know if I wipe my brush too much because I thought I didn't wipe my brush enough but when I watch this video back I wipe my brush quite a lot which is good because I really look after my brushes because they cost me a lot of money right so now it's set so what you do is you file round the smile line because you need a real decent wall for that tip color to butt up against so now I'm using ocean crush from glitter bells look at that color look now I swatched this the other day, it looked amazing. I just done it on that tip and I'm like, no, that don't look amazing. Look at the colour, it's beautiful. Right, see, I've just so got to practice. So what you do is you're pushing it up against that wall. You push it up the side of your nail. Look at that, oh, that's just appalling. I had to use my right hand to pick it up because I couldn't do it with my left hand. I was making such a pig's ear about it. So you've just got to make sure that you've gone right up to the edge of that wall and your smile line and you just pat and pop it into place exactly the same way as you would do anyway. So I needed a little tiny, tiny flake or two just to go in that corner and just to go down that side. And then I pushed it a bit too hard and I'm like, Pfft. it went, Pfft. bloody bugger. Right, so anyway, once you're happy with it, Tidy it up around your smile line so it's not sitting there because you meant to have a crisp smile line. Tidy it up around your smile line. Once you're happy with it, just if you want to add some more, add some more. It's up to you. See, it's a really nice colour. I have to do a nice set, I think, with my nail guards on my left hand just to see. Right, so just put the lid on that because I don't want no, no stuff on there. Right, a bit of clear. So now I'll just coat it in a bit of clear and then I realise as I'm coating it I'm pushing the blue, it's not properly set. Gutted, proper gutted. I tell you I made a bunch of pigs here of this. So I waited and done it again. Put it on the tip and what I did was I turned my brush round and I just made it flat and then just brushed it back. You know, just make sure that your tips covered and you've got acrylic everywhere so you can tell when you've got acrylic on glitter because glitter goes dull when it's covered in acrylic so when you put on a glitter coat of any glitter and then you put a clear coat over the top of that it will go dull and if it's still shining there's no covering on it you need to put acrylic on it look at the shape of that that is flipping embarrassing I looked at it and I just thought oh my god now that looks like one of my first ever fingers it really would be, isn't it, on my right hand? I was so embarrassed. I'm like, no, I can't live with that. I've got to do something about it. So um, I thought I'd try and just give it another bit of acrylic, just to give it a bit of a an apex, because I didn't know how long this would stay on for. 
you know, I was hoping it might be able to stay on for at least 24 hours, you know, just to see how it goes. So then what I did was I've just done a second bead just for my tip. I mean, the shaping is awful, but it don't look too bad once I e-file it. Um, I'm not trained in e-filing. I haven't got a license for that, but I only e-file on me. Um, I don't really e-file. I'll do it on my daughter. I don't do it on my mum because she only has just like a, a, a gel polish, really, and that, or a real flat. So I'm filing, I e-file and cut it out. So I'm filing and I'm brushing off the dirt and pop. So yes, they really work well. They do work well. <laughs> I thought while I'm there I might as well clean up the edges. Why not? <laughs> so what I did was I just popped it back on and uh, you know made it look reasonably good. So now I get my Glitter Bells top coat, non-wipe top coat I must add, and just top coat it bake it for 30 seconds and then um, that's it but you know it won't stay on if you need it to stay on what I've seen on videos is you prep your nail like you would normally give it a base coat and then stick your sticker on top that way it makes the nail stay on longer makes the glue the sticky pad stay on longer um, but if you only want it on for like a couple of days or something then just stick it directly to your nail so look, I'm showing you my nail, happy with it, and look, look at that, oh, excuse my cuticles, my hands just, they got really sore at work, I was nearly in tears, because I've got dust and dirt on them, and they scratch so much, look, hi! So, Dash and Diva nail guards, yes I will use them, yes I'll be practicing for future, so I know exactly what I'm doing, thank you for watching, hit like, hit subscribe, and um, any questions please leave them in the comments box below and I'll see what I can do if I can answer it I'll answer it if not I'll send you the right direction right so I'm happy with that I'll see you later have a nice weekend because I've got to work this weekend and I shall see you in my next video ta-da bye look at those pretty